Okay, so now, once you've set the first boot device to USB from your BIOS, uh, depending on your uh, laptop and so on, you have different ways of accessing it. Now, the next step would be to uh, go onto this link, which I'm gonna share in the description. And you can, uh, you will download this tool, Windows 10 Installation Media. Now, once that is done, and you install what you've uh, downloaded, Media Creation Tool, then we're gonna access the Media Creation Tool, and let me show you the steps, it's really easy. Okay, just accept the terms and conditions again. Storage device, USB stick. Okay, now we have these two options. I'll create this PC now because I have actually Windows 7 on it. Or create installation media such as USB flash drives, ISO file for another PC, which is exactly what we're interested in. Use the recommended options, you can choose here 64 or 32 bits, the Windows 10, and that's pretty much it. We click on next, and now we have the possibility of choosing between the ESO and the USB flash drive. So it also says here it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. Select that one, click next, next, then you're gonna have your USB flash here, click next, then you'll have to wait for the Windows 10 to be downloaded, and the USB flash drive is gonna be ready. Okay guys, so once the download and the configuration of the USB file is done by the application, this is how the folders inside it should look. So, uh, now we've already chosen USB device as the first boot device from our BIOS and I'm gonna show you the windows and the commands that we need to do in order to fix this problem. So, once we restart our computer and we insert our USB drive, we're gonna have this uh, window here, we're gonna click on next. Then the next step is on the left bottom corner, click the repair your computer. Then we're gonna click troubleshoot. Then we're gonna access the command prompt. And inside the terminal, we have the disk part command. Then we're gonna list the disks to see everything that we have. And we're gonna select our hard drive using cell disk and by its size figure which is the hard drive we're gonna list the volumes inside the hard drive and we're gonna select the volume using cell vol which should choose the one in megabytes then we're gonna click uh, insert activate and then the enter key then once this is done we're gonna click on exit and the enter key of course and then exit once again after leaving this part. We're gonna see this window here and we're gonna choose turn off your PC. Now, uh, we're gonna unplug the USB device and select once again the first boot device, the HDD, and it should start the windows. If it doesn't, maybe something went wrong, please leave a comment and I'm gonna try to help you. Please subscribe to this channel guys, also share this clip and stay tuned, goodbye.